Hey everyone, welcome back to Enchanted Vacations. Today we're at the Disneyland Resort for early entry. We'll be sharing our strategies for early entry and using Genie Plus as a family, enjoy breakfast at our favorite spot, meet some unique characters, and experience the first ever Halloween brunch at Goofy's Kitchen. So come along with us. Good morning. We are on our way to Disneyland. We were trying to make it for early entry this morning. We're a little bit late. It's about 7.25. We're cutting through Disney's Grand Californian. Assuming we'll get to the gates sometime around 7.40. So hopefully it won't be too busy around that time. We decided to go on the monorail from downtown Disney. This is gonna take us right to Tomorrowland Station in Tomorrowland. Our plan is to hit Fantasyland for early entry. monorail and we well it's about 7 45 we're heading over to alice in wonderland that's the well most of fantasy land is not available for genie plus reservation so if you're here for early entry fantasy land rides um, are the way to go to like knock everything nice. off your list make sure you get it done before it gets really busy because these rides will fill up very quickly okay let me correct myself for a second uh, because I said this in one of my videos that all Fantasyland attractions aren't available for Genie Plus. Uh, technically, Matterhorn Mountain and also uh, It's a Small World are available for Genie Plus reservations and they're technically in Fantasyland. So all but two attractions you um, don't have a Genie Plus, you can't get a Genie Plus reservation for. So that's our focus this morning is to do the attractions in Fantasyland while the crowds are still low. So we're still here before the official park opening. So we should be able to get um, a good chunk of rides done here this morning. These are the rope drop crowds. So this is the crowd we're trying to beat here. Well, unfortunately, my first choice is temporarily closed this morning. So change of plans. Peter Pan is going to be your busiest one from early entry. It's a rope drop. It's going to be busy all day. This is probably the shortest line you'll see all day. We are heading over to Snow White's Enchanted Wish. This used to be Snow White's uh, Scary Adventure, I believe. So they changed it to be less scary. I haven't even seen the new layover yet. So looking forward to that. All right, so we only got one attraction in before the rope drop officially for every guest. So huge difference in the park with everybody coming in. Now all the attractions are going to be, I've just ran into a child. All these attractions are going to be really busy right now, especially in Fantasyland. So we're just going to go ahead to Jolly Holiday and have some breakfast. We went ahead and mobile ordered some breakfast here at Jolly Holiday. We have an awesome view of the castle here. Lots of seating available in the morning because everybody is focused on getting rides. We've got a few cinnamon buns. How is that cinnamon roll? Really good. Really good. We got a breakfast sandwich. Delicious, a latte, and then we, of course, had to get one of these seasonal offerings, the poison apple macaron. Oh, you want to try it? All right. Careful, pick it up with two hands, it breaks. I might as well try this thing, huh? <laughs> well, like apple pie filling in the middle. Interesting. Not my favorite. It's super sweet. I know. It's very, very sweet. sweet. Yeah. So only three of the five of us have Genie Plus for today. So I just want to share quickly how to purchase Genie Plus. I'm on the home screen in the Disneyland app. And right here you see Disney Genie Plus service. Get it for today. I'm just going to click purchase. It's going to tell me who needs Genie Plus for today. Um, that is myself and my husband. So I'm going to click us and confirm the party. 
um, and then I can go ahead and pay. So that's how that works if you want to purchase Genie Plus Day Out. We just finished up our breakfast here at Jolly Holiday. We're heading over to Adventureland. We are going on the parts of the Caribbean. Actually this afternoon, we have a brunch at Goofy's Kitchen. So that's a special Halloween brunch. So that's gonna be our break today. We're gonna to go for brunch at the Disneyland Hotel. Probably take the monorail over there. So maybe we'll end the morning in Tomorrowland, do some rides over there and uh, head out of the park. But yeah, we're heading over to Adventureland right now. Where have become Jack Sparrow? Speak up! While we're here, we thought we'd check out Tiana's Palace. It's the newest quick service location here in uh, the New Orleans Square. So if you do a mobile order, you can pick up outside here. Um, otherwise, you can go inside. Lots of seating available. Sorry, my child is bumping me because she can't sit still. Oogie Boogie's making this popcorn here over my haunted mansion. That's cute. <laughs> now that you notice that, you'll see all the popcorn carts have a different theme. So you'll have to tell me which one is in each land. I did, I saw the Yeti over at Matterhorn. Haunted Mansion holiday lineup is pretty big here. We have a Genie Plus for this one. Later today, uh, just before 11 o'clock. So we're gonna make our way to Toontown. Uh, but we're gonna go through Galaxy's Edge. Well, it's a busy day today, but my app is showing me that the wait times are really not that bad yet. I mean, the few highlights, like Haunted Mansion and some of the more popular rides, those ones are big lineups. But for the most part, lots of the rides and attractions are a low wait time. We're just walking past Hungry Bear. Tons of seating here at Hungry Bear. Lots of great food options. This is where you're gonna get your like funnel cakes. Um, they have really good seasonal options always. So Hungry Bear is a really good place to grab a bite. This is the line for Rise of the Resistance. We'll see how long the wait is this morning. Five zero? 50 minutes. See longer. Rise of the Resistance is one of the attractions that aren't included with your Genie Plus. If you purchase Genie Plus, you but you can buy an individual lightning lane for this one and it's typically about $15 per person. So 15 to 20. So. Keep that in mind if you do want to skip the line on Rise of the Resistance. It's an additional cost on top of your Genie Plus, but you don't have to pay for Genie Plus. I mean, you don't have to have a Genie Plus in order to purchase an individual lightning lane. We're literally just passing through in order to get to Toontown. I feel like by the time we get to Toontown, those rides that had the lower wait times are probably going to be bumped up a little bit. Hi! <laughs> Kelly's just stopping here to fill up the water bottle. There's a water filling station over here. Restrooms. And this is sort of the main shopping area here in Batu. Here's where you get your green and blue milk. If you're looking for it, we're exiting Galaxy's Edge. Change of plans. We just stepped out of Galaxy's Edge and I uh, looked at the app and it says that Big Thunder is a 10 minute wait, so we're gonna quickly get on that one. We've been shifting so many <laughs> plans today. Big Thunder said it was a 10 minute wait as soon as we got there. There was a huge line of it. Definitely wasn't 10 minutes and shifted quickly to 25. I don't even think it was 25. It was much longer. So we're gonna grab a genie for that later and head to our original plan, which is Toontown. 
the park seem pretty busy today. Not a lot of space for walking. I love the small world here. It's cute, huh, Abby? We're going into Toontown. That was our plan. We're gonna stop diverting or else we're gonna get nothing done today. Right, heading into Toontown, finally. Time is about 10 a.m. We basically got just one thing done this morning. We went on one ride and we had some breakfast. So I guess it's a bit of a slower day for us today. So it's 10 o'clock right now. So we'll see how long it actually takes for us to get through the queue. So we just got off at Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. The posted wait time for that one was 45 minutes. I was just about to buy a lightning lane for us and we thought we want to see the queue so we're going to go through it. And it ended up being a 20 minute wait so it wasn't that bad at all. So I mean I don't know if they're fluffing up the line to make you want to buy a lightning lane but yeah uh, I mean if you want to try committing to a line I would say go ahead. Uh, sometimes you get lucky and it's not the actual wait time. So right now I think we're gonna go. We have a Haunted Mansion holiday in a little bit here. We might check out the um, Gavin's Go poster over on the other side of the town before we head over there. Um, so let's go do that. time for the Haunted Mansion holiday. We have a lightning lane for this one. The line for standby. It's huge. Let's see what the wait time is. 55 minutes for standby. It's a ghost horse. We just got off of Haunted Mansion Holiday. I love that layer lay over here at Disneyland. We have lunch or brunch booked, Halloween brunch booked at Goofy's Kitchen. So we are going to take the train here from New Orleans and we're gonna take it over to Tomorrowland. We have a lightning lane for Astro Blaster, so we'll do that quickly. And then grab the monorail to downtown Disney for our lunch reservation. Time for Astro Blasters, who's gonna win? You're gonna win? You're gonna... Oh, that's not positive thinking. It's opposite day. Is it opposite day? Who's getting hungry? Me. Yeah, me too. Me we made it onto the monorail at the Tomorrowland station. We just came off of Astro Blasters. And we're headed over to downtown Disney because we're gonna walk over to the Disneyland Hotel for Goofy's Kitchen. So we're excited about lunch. Some of us are getting hangry. I'm here at the Disneyland Hotel getting ready to dine for brunch at Goofy's Kitchen. Today is the first day of the Halloween dine, so I'm really looking forward to that. So let's go see what the characters are up to inside and what the menu looks like. We're all checked into Goofy's. Ready to go? Yeah. Ah! We first checked in through our mobile check-in and we're told to visit the front desk to do sort of a double check-in. But now we are in line for our complimentary photo. 
we first got here, we were immediately greeted by Pluto. And we've got these Halloween buttons. This is the first day that they're doing the Halloween dine here at Goofy's yeah. Kitchen. Did you already put your button on, sweetheart? Looks good. Are you excited to see the characters in all their Halloween costumes? Yes. Yeah. We, we took four pictures. Four? Five. Five. Goofy was a spooky tree. Yeah. I'm scared. Pluto's wearing a collar that says boo. All right, let's check out the buffet. Well, there's a lot of choices. It's a mixture between breakfast and lunch out there on the buffet. We've got an eggs benedict with some pancetta. This is a specialty item. It's an orange pancake with pumpkin icing, chicken strip, barbecue, chicken pizza, bacon, macaroni and cheese, and these are fried raviolis with Alfredo sauce. Is that good pizza? And the pink lemonade. Ooh, pink lemonade. Hi, Chip. Hi, Chip. <laughs> Round two for me. Going for a little dessert. There's some bread pudding, a chocolate brownie, and I think this pizza is special for this Halloween dine. It is hazelnut strawberry. So, a Nutella pizza, I guess. You just got yourself some fruit there. Yes. Thank you. We love your beautiful dress. Did you make it yourself? How did you know that we were just talking about you? We were just waiting until we we're done. <laughs> it looks like his belly is full of candy. You like candy? Yeah. Okay, so the total for this meal for us the kids, two of them are considered adults because they're over 10. One is three to nine. So our breakfast with a few drinks, we got three drinks between the two of us, uh, came to 407.82 and that includes the gratuity. So quite a pricey meal for brunch, but you know, you skip all those long character lines in the park by coming to a character breakfast. We're heading back to the Park City Paradise here entrance. Goofy's Kitchen. Uh, it was a fun experience. Food was pretty good. The characters were dressed in their Halloween best. So it was a fun experience. It was pretty pricey. Um, I wouldn't say the food is any different than it was before. Um, nothing too specific for Halloween, but anyways, all in all, we had a pretty good lunch. After that, we went back to our resort and had a little rest for an hour. So we're heading back into DCA. We have a couple um, Genie Plus reservations. So we have Incredicoaster and Monsters After Dark. And then DCA closes at 6 o'clock tonight. So we'll be heading over to Disneyland to finish, finish our evening. We thought we'd squish in a little bit of DCA before it closes. So on party nights, I'll give you bash party nights, the park closes at six o'clock. But if you have an Oogie Boogie Bash ticket, you can get in the park at earliest at three o'clock. So that's why we're starting to see some costumes here in the parks. And once six o'clock hits, then the regular park guests have to leave and Oogie Boogie Bash starts. 
coming up to Mr. Incredible here. We're here at the kids' favorite ride, I think. This is the third time they've been on it. Going on the Incredicoaster again. This is the fourth. The fourth? This is your second time. Oh, number four. That's such a good ride. On our way to Mission Breakout, Monsters After Dark. They're starting to empty the park out shortly here. Yeah, the, the standby time for Mission Breakout or Monsters After Dark is 120 minutes, but the Lightning Lane line is like wrapping all the way down into Avengers Campus. It's huge. So, I mean, is everybody has a Lightning Lane at the same time? Not sure what happened here. During the Halloween season, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout has a Monsters After Dark layover. So after three o'clock, the whole theming of this attraction changes over. So if you're here during this time, it's definitely fun to do it in the daytime. And then also after three o'clock to get this experience as well. We've officially changed over to Oogie Boogie Bash. But we are heading out of the park. Tonight. But the vibe has changed. We're out of California Adventure, heading over to Disneyland. Looks like that's where the crowd is headed to. Hopefully, it doesn't get too busy here tonight, but we do have a few Genie Plus reservations, so that'll help. We got the guava and cream cheese filled pretzel. Looks like it's a cream cheese filled pretzel with cinnamon sugar on the outside and guava syrup. It was like eight dollars and fifty cents. We're parked here on the steps outside Haunted Mansion, waiting for sunset because the Haunted Mansion will light up at sunset. So we're waiting to see that. Um, apparently, well, if I don't know if it's every night, but I guess tonight it's going to happen sometime between 7 and 7.30. Um, so we'll see what time it is. It is about 7 o'clock right now, so we'll see when the light up happens. These guys, look at this. Rough day. Rough day on your feet. We did take a break too. These guys' feet are sore. So we're probably gonna call it quits for the day and go for some dinner. It's 8.20 and we called it quits for park hopping and attractions. Sometimes open to close, rope drop to close just doesn't make any sense. The kids are never going to make it to midnight tonight. So we'll save our energy tonight and go back to the parks tomorrow. We are hungry so we are checking out Black Tap for dinner tonight. If you purchased a Disneyland package, Black Tap is one of those locations you can receive a discount utilizing your magical extras. This is a quick service restaurant where you can get burgers and chicken burgers, but they're most known for their crazy shakes. We tried the Oreo crazy shake, which was delicious and definitely enough to split between our family of five. After all was said and done, our final bill came to $114, which actually wasn't that bad and of course much better than the Goofy's Kitchen bill we had earlier. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll put our Disneyland playlist here so you can follow along. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. Bye guys.